The UNBC men's soccer team came into this weekend not mathematically out of the CIS playoffs, but needing to do their part and to win the remaining games, the Timberwolves have been knocking on the door all season long, losing some tight games and had a tough test with the Trinity Western Spartans in town. On Saturday, the T-Wolves exploded for five goals led by a hat-trick from freshman Brandon Wallace and on Sunday, they were looking for more. Goals a little harder to come in this one. We pick it up in the second half, still scoreless and it stays that way. Nice save by Ty Van Hola here. Then it's Francesco Bartolito. He with the perfect hair. He's going to find a little time and space outside the box and put one on net, but it's swallowed up by the keeper. Then off a Connor Noftal ball, Brandon Wallace, hat trick yesterday. He's going to try a bicycle kick of all things. Pretty impressive attempt going just wide. He can't believe it there. Then it's Wallace again. He's looking to break the tie on a run here, but again, he puts it just wide as both teams battled hard on this one. Now, T-Wolves keep coming late here. Bartolillo puts one towards the net. It fools the keeper and finds Twine. UNBC leads this one 1-0 one in the 85th minute. But watch this now. Ben Hola is going to make a, an incredible save and then eat a face full of cleat from a lunging Spartan. In slow-mo, we take another look. The keeper takes the brunt of the kick on his jaw. Ouch. He would stay in the game. Tough customer, that tie, Ben Hola. In the dying minutes, Trinity, put, Trinity puts this one on net. Ben Hola punches it out and then gets it out of harm's way, basically sealing the game. UNBC makes history with their first two-win weekend in school history. We spoke to the ecstatic T-Wolves after the game. I got um, uh, set in the last bit of the game there, and um, yeah, I got a red card, and I got set in the face, so I don't know. It hurt, <laughs> but hey, we won the win, so we got the win, so I'm, I'm happy. Everyone on the team knows how much it means to coach since he used to be at Trinity, and. You know, a divisional team, we'd actually seen them quite a bit with some exhibition games too, so a little bit of a rivalry there, and to take six points off them was huge. This one means an awful lot. Uh, in addition to that, I am so excited for this group of guys that, uh, that we have here because uh, we've been playing better and better as the season has gone on. Uh, we've had some great battles and not gotten any rewards. Uh, this weekend, we battled incredibly hard and we got rewarded. I'm just still riding the high right now. It feels great. Our, the whole atmosphere in the locker room, we've been singing and stuff. You can still hear them now. Uh, I don't know, it just feels awesome, like huge accomplishment.